have to be able to let things go. You yes. have to be able to trust that yes. person. You know, you have to be able to communicate. Mm-hmm. You know, and you can't duck and hide. You know, I mean, it's just there's just so much to it. And I'm a big believer in partnerships. I mean, and I tolerate the idiosyncrasies. Totally. I mean, I, I, Fred, and and I love him, but it, it, we used to sit in meetings when we were young. Yeah. Okay. And we, you know, it was just me and Fred and maybe some other people, but he always put his leg up against the table and yep. then would move the table like this just the whole time. Pass. It would just absolutely, <laughs> I got to where I can't even pay any attention to what he's saying or thinking or anything. The moving of the table is driving me insane. Today, I can totally tolerate that. <laughs> can you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's all good now, right? But those idiosyncrasies yeah. that we all have. Yeah. You have to be able to go past them. You know, that is so true. And I mean, you know, I've, I've raised my hand saying I've probably got a lot that would piss somebody off, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, you never piss me off. Though. Well, I know because you and I hurt. We're on the outside. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's not much that I think that you and I could do. That'd be, I'd be like, oh, dude, that was hilarious. That's great. Yeah, we're too much alike, I guess. <laughs> That's the problem. We are for sure. But, you know, I mean, like, you know, I've always been a big believer in escaping when you need to escape in business. Like, sometimes you got to take 30 minutes, take you a couple hours, but get back in it, you know. And, yes. And, you know, my Re- partners regroup, retreat and regroup. Totally. But my partners were different, man. They're, they're, yeah. they're able to focus and, stay, you know, stay in line and keep that, just that consistency. I'm the most inconsistent person that I think that I've ever met. Maybe other than you, you're pretty inconsistent too. Like you're freaking. I never, I never, uh, consistency wasn't my goal. I, okay. I, I mean, obviously that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like you're the most inconsistent person I think I've ever met. I'm consistent in some ways though. Like yeah. I always pay my bills on time and that's I always true. do certain things that you know, I, I, I comply with laws and regulations and forms yeah. and bills and deadlines. You do. You Those actually, things I comply with. But you taught me that. But consistency in all other ways? No, I, it's never been a goal. Yeah. I remember back in the day, like when we were paying bills, our AP was pretty high. Yeah, we got back the company the back. It was a mess. Yeah, but you were relentless on as soon as we got some payment in. It's yeah. like, okay, who are you going to pay off today? Get it done. I mean, yes. relentless, like you, you, there was nothing else that you were focused on that day other than how many wires were sitting <laughs> and you'd be in the other room, slamming your hands on the table, screaming, did we sit that out yet? We got to get that out. I mean, it's just like, and then, and the next thing you know, they were back at, we're screaming, we're, we're, we're back in the morning. broke again. <laughs> And I'm in my it's brain still, going like, don't you want to keep this for a few days? I mean, no, just to, no you didn't, man. I mean, it, but that it, was a good lesson. Well, no, only because, you know, people, if if you're doing business with people, they want to do bit. Yeah. They like you and will do favors for you if you're a fast payer. Yes. If you're a slow payer, then you're going to get deprioritized. They'll work. They'll do stuff for you if they got nothing better to do. I don't want to be that kind of a client or it's you know, a big buyer deal. of whatever they're selling. I it's, just don't. And I think another term in relation to everything we're talking about is that there is 100% such thing as business karma, man. Yes, there is. Bro, like I have, you know. You put out good and good dude, stuff happens. You put out bad and bad, bad stuff happens. That's right? an episode on its own, man. Mm-hmm. And like, what are all the details of what is good and bad karma? Because I mean, like it will, I have seen it happen myself. Mm-hmm. And I've seen, you know, from a couple of things that I did, I actually told you that. I texted yeah. you. Like, the way I left is like, why I'm not very proud of. I mean, you left, you're I know, fine. I know. I, know, I never I know held anything. I know you didn't, all. man. It was awesome. Yeah. But I didn't feel good about it. Yeah. And I felt like that, that that returned to me in in a in a way that that was not the most pleasant thing, you know. And, and so, but that's a lesson learned. And, you know, that's not that big of a deal because I didn't no. do anything really bad. You just, yeah, you just move it on. But I was a kid, man. Yeah. I was just a kid. It's okay. Okay. Thanks, I, you, I never had any ill feelings towards you ever at all. Well, I appreciate that. You were always a good person to work with and you always tried to do yeah. what you could do to make things successful and yeah. keep everybody happy. Well, you know? I, I appreciate that, man, but I, I didn't feel good about it. But you know, but then I've seen other people in throughout the business that did not do good things. And 
it's detrimental. I've, and, I, and I didn't even like it when it was going on, the well, things that weren't doing good. And I was like, I obviously didn't feel good when it happened to me, but I certainly didn't even like to know that down the road, it's going to multiply on them. That karma thing, like, man, that is, I, I hate that for them. I'm we sure. only have one reputation. It's so true. that's, that's, that's it. obviously super, super critical. You've got to protect that with yeah. everything you got, but. Thanks for tuning into this episode of Big Talk About Small Business. If you have any questions or ideas for upcoming shows, be sure to head over to our website, www.bigtalkaboutsmallbusiness.com and click on the Ask the Host button for the chance to have your questions answered on the show. Stay connected with us on LinkedIn at Big Talk About Small Business. And be sure to head over to our website to read articles, browse episodes, and ask questions about upcoming shows.